Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James, it's great to see all of your smiling faces. And we're coming to you this week from the Dima Show Orlando. We were trying to consider what is the best way to cover the Dima Show. If you haven't been here before, it is huge. It is the who's who of the scuba diving industry. It is every manufacturer and all the new releases. And so we put out a poll on YouTube a couple of weeks ago, and each and every one of you uh, that voted, thank you very much for that. Um, most people wanted to see the new equipment and new releases from the manufacturers. Um, so that's what we're gonna show you. So what I have for you is three montage videos that we've separated roughly into photography and videography, uh, the major manufacturers and the, the large scale releases to the small startup brands and independent sort of, you know, we make this one product kind of companies. So. Each of those videos I'll link in the description below to each other so you can check part one, part two, and part three out. These videos are basically just gonna be me with a bunch of friends jumping from booth to booth to booth and having them tell you what new products they've got out there uh, in case you couldn't come to the show yourself. So without further ado, let's dive straight into it. All right, first up today, we are in the Cressy booth with my favorite Cressy people. We've got Liz here from marketing and Theo. Theo was actually my Cressy sales rep for the diving uh, shop that I ran in St. Martin too many years ago to mention. Great to be here, guys. I didn't recognize you without your wetsuit. I know, right? I know. It's shocking. It's shocking. We've got to dry out for Deemer every year, though, right? I know. What's new with Cressy? What have you got to show us? Yeah, so I had to pick some products from a wide variety. I want to get back into 2019. Since it's still 2019, we have the Zeus mask. The one that is out there, popular, we're very happy with the Fox Top that's also in this newer model, but we brought it in 2020 in new colors. So if you want to see the colors, Cressy.com, yeah, you can see everything that was, that is new. Awesome. Besides, all the products are products that are reshaped, like this is the AC25 Piston Balance First Stage that will be out for, as of January 2020. Um, something that people might have seen and that we start shipping now with this little desk is the Digi2. This is one of the, my most favorite new products. It's a digital console. So I'm convinced that in 10 years from now, yeah, like people don't do horse collars anymore but jackets, people will not have traditional gauges. It's a digital console for that, but also for pressure. Obviously added value like temperature, time, uh, dive time remaining, etc. More durable, more precise, phenomenal product. Another new thing. Yes, I'm interested to see this. Always PCDs. So, you did a phenomenal review on the Travelite. Thank you. Was I honest? I only yeah, care that yeah, I was yeah. honest, you know. But there's a lot of people <laughs> that uh, review stuff to get viewers, but they're not actually divers the way you are. Yeah. yeah. I think that's a big thing, that you took it diving yourself and you showed it. Appreciate that. This is, like the Travelite, it's a great BCD. I'm sure we do well, but there's a few changes. It has a semi-rigid backplate, so it's lightweighted, but it's still semi-rigid, strong enough. But if you look at the cummerbund, it has a beautiful pivoting system in here that you can oh, nice. easily unclick, put another size on, so you can make it fit the way you want it. I think the style is beautiful. Obviously, it has trim pockets and all the features as you are used from Cressy. We yeah. have, I believe, the best power unit, and we use, it doesn't matter which BCD, it all has the same power unit. Yeah, so and I think I, I think the thing that impressed me most when I did the Travel Light review, and this is like the next step up from the Travel Light, yes, right, in correct. terms of durability, a little bit heavier, but a lot stronger. Exactly. Would you say that? Exactly. Um, I think the thing that impressed me most was the amount of features you get on the travel BCD, and this has like a lot of the same things. So yeah, I'm pretty, a lot of bells and whistles that yeah. you expect on a traditional feature pack retail BCD, but today with all these limits and fright, and we made it lightweight. We never cut a corner. We just use new techniques and possibilities to make the same strength in just lightweight. Yeah, they're awesome. I love them. Yeah, me too. Uh, a new computer I like to point out, especially because it's in our atelier line, which means you have to visit a traditional retailer to be able to, to purchase this. The Michelangelo comes obviously with a Bluetooth interface, as you can expect in 2020. Has to be, right? Exactly. Uh, great product. Different colors. It does everything you expect, including free diving. 
And yeah, the, the, I can't show all the new products, right? You I mean, you, you know, like we'll, we'll go until you run out of ideas, but uh, yeah, no, 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 I think that's a good selection there. Yeah. Um, I love that. Proud. Very cool, guys. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it as always. Thanks, James. Always good, good to see you, see you mate. Always good to guys see you. Ready. So Liz, it was a pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs>so next up i'm here at one of my favorite brands fourth element a little bit biased there of course because they're a hometown brand from cornwall england where i'm from and i'm here with my new best friend jim uh jim what have you bought to dima what's new uh with fourth element hi james well uh, actually this this year dima is a, a big event for us because we've launched we're launching more new product than we've ever ever really launched in a single event before from Very from, cool. from a, a new undergarment uh basically the warmest dry suit underwear ever created right the way through to uh, freedive suits which is a totally new venture for us getting into the, the freediving market yeah. as well as showcasing the um, our sustainable wetsuit which is the, the dive industry's first certified sustainable wetsuit made from made from plants grown rather than made that's awesome yeah there's definitely a trend there I mean I think that's the theme of uh, of Dima in this year is you know every year we get more and more conservation savvy but it's actually bleeding now into rather just conservation activities it's actually bleeding through into the products which yeah. is great to see so tell us more about the uh, the eco suit well I mean the, the eco suit itself it, it's we what we set out with this mission to make a, a, a suit with as little impact on the environment as possible I mean the, rea the, the reality of this is that everything is um, when we consume everything, nothing is truly sustainable. But the uh, the raw material for this suit is um, from comes from plants. It's latex from rubber tree um, combined with the extract from the Russian dandelion, from the roots okay. of the Russian dandelion, and that's, bas that's basically used to create the alternative to the neoprene that you would see in a traditional suit. Then we're lining it with 100% recycled. Uh, uh, ocean-bound plastic bottles that have been recycled, turned back into the yarn, and uh, turned into yarn, and then and then knitted, and also then glued with aqua-based uh, glues and uh, minimally printed, so that the suit itself is a is a sort of simple representation of, of uh, certainly of how we feel that wetsuit design in for the future is is, is gonna is gonna get, gonna progress. Very cool. Gives you the big picture idea as well. Yeah. I love it. I love it. You've got a great booth. I love the setup. Thanks. Uh, love the photography and these, these graphics are amazing. I think we just met the girl that did your graphic. Yeah, Emma, Emma does, you know, she's revolutionized, uh, uh, yeah. you know, the branding and the way we've done that and, you know, adopted a vision that we have for the brand right from the word go and just you know, she's just taking it up two or three levels. It's great. Yeah, it's, it's kick ass. It's really good. Absolutely. Yeah. Jim, thank you so much for your My time. Pleasure. Good luck with the show. Thanks a lot. Fantastic Cheers. move. I love it here. Thank you. As I said, So next up, I'm here at the Shearwater booth. The regular viewers on this channel will know I'm a massive Shearwater fan because I've featured the computers in a whole bunch of our videos and you've seen me wearing them on dives whenever I'm demoing other dive gear at all. So I'm here with my new best friend, Serena, and you're gonna take me through uh, what's new with Shearwater. Yes, James. Well, um, Shearwater recently introduced a new color bezel. We have silver. And of course, we have the blue bezels. And that's for the Terek? Yes, and that's for the Terek. And also, besides the two new color bezel, we also have um, we have released 10 new colors of uh, straps um, and also a blue camel shark nato straps. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so um, it's lovely. It's awesome colors. And we are campaigns Color Your Dive. And now uh, every diver can update their their Terek with um, new colors. Yeah, that's really great. And that's definitely a, a theme that we're seeing with Dima this year is personal. Personalization. Yes, personalization. People don't want to buy off the peg dive equipment. They want it to be their dive equipment, yes, different from anyone touch. else's. Yes. So yes. we've seen that with dry suits. We've seen that with wings and uh, yes. BCDs and yes. now with computers as well. That's great. Um, question for you. If I've already owned a Terek, can I buy just the bezel and change it out? Um, unfortunately, because for uh, quality waterproofing, the yep. sapphire glass is uh, permanently bonded to the 
the bezel and the AMOLED, and that's because of quality waterproofing. Okay. So unfortunately, no, you will have to buy a new one, but oh. that's because of quality, for quality waterproofing. More dive gear, I mean, yes, you know. Yes, more dive gear, you know. That's terrible. But the straps are interchangeable. Of yes, course. the straps are interchangeable. They are 22, uh, standard 22 millimeter. Perfect. So uh, whenever you buy a Terry, there will be two little tools that come, so you can change it. So yeah, if you want, you can mix it up like how I did. I mean, you know, I use I three that. different color strap and you know, mix it up, add a little bit more color to my dive. You're not yeah. going to get that confused. No, no, definitely will be your own, your own addition. Yes. And then in terms of the family favorites, uh, I dive for Perdix and I've got a couple of Petrols as well. Uh, and then the nerd family of computers yes, as well. Yes. Anything happening there? Any updates? Any firmware coming down the line? Um, well, we did have we did have some uh, firmware updates. Um, with the Petro 2, um, we did have a nice little um, bezel update with the titanium. So Lovely. that was uh, you can actually uh, probably buy, I think it's about 125 USD dollars. You can have that little put it go into service and uh, go into the US service center, have it a little servicing, and then you can get it upgrade with that price. Yeah. Very cool. I might well do that. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and have you got any hints or tips or anything coming down the pipe in 2020 that you can share, or is it well, you too know early? What? It's, it's always on. So we have a, a great bunch of engineers at the back, uh, back home in Canada. They're always working on something. And if we ever do, we'll definitely let you all know. Yeah. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, James. You know I'm a massive fan of Shearwater, yes, so yes. Uh, I appreciate you uh, spending Thank time you. with us. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of your show. Next up, I'm here with Scott from Tektite. Uh, he's got some awesome strobes to show us. So what's new with Tektite, Scott? Well, our new offering for 2019 is a multi-program strobe. It functions as a two hertz strobe. You can switch it, turning it on and off to an SOS for a distress signal, switch it on and off to a steady light so it works as a backup light or a gear up light as well. So, it's multifunction. You have your choice of functions when you order it. Right. Full LED. Full LED. I'm very three bright. Three O rings in there. Two O rings. Two O rings. Yeah. Three C batteries. Runs for in a strobe mode. Runs for over a hundred hours. Wow. Okay. Fantastic. So, uh, what else you got? Let's talk it through. Smallest diver strobe. Oh, uh, you don't want that flashing, right? <laughs> runs on a runs on a single double A battery for over eleven hours. It's a great come get me strobe to keep in your BC pocket if you need it. You can see how small it is. Yeah, for sure. It doesn't take up any space. 11 plus hours okay. on an alkaline battery, an alkaline double A. Yeah, and, and if you haven't been rescued by then, you just, you know, it's not your day. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Hopefully you haven't is. been eaten. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, Scott. <laughs> Hopefully you haven't been eaten. So this is the latest in our Mark Light line of product. The Mark Light product line was designed to get rid of chemical light sticks in the diving industry. Right, and you guys were the first ones to We do were the first ones to come out. We weren't the first ones, we didn't invent the idea, but we were the first ones really to commercialize it and sell a lot of them to the point where some island destinations started banning chemical light sticks. Yeah. So we, the company was formed 30 years ago based on sustainable principles, green principles, whatever they're called now. It was from an environmental standpoint. Yeah. We wanted to, uh, as a dive instructor and a diver, and a skier, I, the outdoor world needs our care. Yeah. I enjoy using it, everybody else enjoys using it, you need to put some time into it too. Yeah, absolutely. So, so those little snap and, snap and shake sticks. This gets rid of it. The way of the dinosaur, happy That's, days, excellent. No, chem, no hazardous chemical waste when you're done with it, no packaging, yeah. you know, one battery replaces 100 chemical light sticks. Right. Scott, thank you so much for your time. Have a great Dima, my thank man. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Next up, I'm here with my new best friend, Jared, from Dive Right. Jared, thank you so much for having me in your booth. I'm glad to be uh, here. And you've got a fantastic new BCD for the recreational market. We do, yeah. We just showed this brand new BC at DEMA 2019, the Hydro Light BCD. This is our answer for the traveling diver or the diver that just wants a kick-ass BC that will uh, take them anywhere. Yeah. Six pounds, of, um, six pounds, packs flat, 30 pounds of lift, it's a back inflate style BC, so you don't have a hard back plate back here, but it's all one construction yep. with a total back inflate 
wing on the back. I like that yeah. shoulder to kidneys all the yeah, way. Yeah, nothing wrapping around. So none of this, what I call a faux back inflate BC, yeah. where it's got back inflation, but it's got all this crap up yeah, here yeah, yeah. that clutters yeah. you up. So this is about as close as you can get to like a back inflate saw wing, but still, you know, for a recreational guy, you know, a sport diver, I don't like to say recreational, a sport diver. And then uh, has some other features. It's full feature, got a weight pocket system, 12 pounds. It's got a quick release. So you don't have to sacrifice and put like little trim weight pockets back here if you do want something with a quick, quick release. release. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, so man. six and six, you said, right? Yep, 12 in total? Six. All right. You got a crotch strap. You got all your D-rings, not skimping on any of that stuff. Oh, and these are stainless steel, yeah. cheap old plastic. All stainless, yeah, we got you know, high quality buckles for your quick releases. Very cool. And then when you put it on the back side, you got a full two inch stainless steel cam strap, That's retainer beautiful. strap, tank height adjustment strap. Yeah. Um, you know, high quality, you know, made in the USA hose. Yeah, high quality inflator. And that's the same inflator that's on all dive right wings, yeah, right? We don't, we don't put like a lower end one on this, no, this BC. No, exactly. Whole rig is made in the USA, which I think is kind of cool. Yep, definitely. So, right here in Florida, right? Right here in Florida. That's it, that's it. I'm looking at double stitching. What's the, uh, what's the denier on the nylon? So this is actually a polyester. Okay. Uh, high quality, it's still like a, a thousand denier, um, but so it's, it's the more same as a, yeah, a tech wing. Basically. Exactly, more color fast though. Yeah. Okay. Great, man. I mean, it looks awesome. I'd love to get one wet. That'd be yeah, really cool. Sure. Uh, so this is cool. Yeah. You want to go see some other stuff? Yeah. What else you got for us? Let's go look at some dry suits. Happy days. Uh, so Jared, what do we got here? This is a beast. Yeah, for sure. So we got our new 901 series dry suits. We took a little hiatus from the dry suit world for the last couple of years, and we're coming back with a bang Strong. in 2020 with our 901 series. Brand new cut, um, all using high quality, it's all tri lamb suits. Um, they're all glued, stitched. Uh, they're stitched, then glued, and then taped on the outside. Got some cool features though that we're really happy with the 901. Uh, one thing that we did is we went to a lighter weight material. This is all UK based, um, you know, European high quality material, yep. but it's a lighter weight. So if you go fill other tri lambs, they're pretty thick, heavy, bulky when you're traveling, uh, and also hard to move in. Yep. So going to a lighter weight, you have just as much durability, but you have a lot more flexibility. And if you are diving in a you know, more tropical location with a dry suit, a little bit more comfortable. Yep. But you can still layer up in the cold water. You know, I actually was diving one of these samples in the Great Lakes earlier this year, 38 degree water, nice and toasty warm. Yeah. Another thing that we've done uh, with the new 901 series dry suit is we've done a little bit sexier cut. So the knees and the legs are pre-bent. So, you know, us tech divers, we get our nice knees up, you know, yep. better trim, a little bit easier with that. Um, and also just some more curves. Using Sorry, side again, what was that, curves? Curves. Curves. Yeah, oh, yeah. curves are sexy. Happy days. So, um, cool other thing, we're using all side tech, high quality side tech seals, or um, valves. valves. But we do have these side tech ring systems. Yes. And I think this is pretty cool, you know, if you do, cut a seal when you're on a liveaboard or you're on a trip, you can have a replacement with you. Check and I like this, out. this is like flexi. That's yeah, kind of cool, really it's cool. not hard. You can do that with also the neck system. Yep. We also have the ability to do just the standard latex seals. So me, I'm a cave diver, I don't, I've got access to a good dry suit repair shop, so I'm not worried about replacing my seals on a regular basis. So um, I like the latex seals, they're nice yeah. heavy duty. Yeah, a little bit more challenging for us in the south. South yeah. Florida. Yeah, when you don't have the dry suit guy a mile from your house, it's a little bit of a problem. Yeah. Nice big pockets. You got your slate holder, uh, slate pocket in the back of this. You've yeah. got an extra accessory pocket on the front. Put your car key or something like that in between dives. Perfect. Uh, Built-in boots, or you can do socks. Um, it's just a kick-ass suit. It really is, and I'm seeing like a lot of features that you, you know, you've come to expect. You've come back with everything on this suit, yeah. including like the abrasion patches, elbows, yeah. knees, yeah. the whole thing. Um, no, it's a really smart-looking suit. I like it a lot. Very, very cool. Jared, thank you so much for your time, buddy. I really hey, appreciate Let's it. Let's go get a beer. Enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah, it's beer time. Let's go. Next up, I'm here with my new best friend, Jack, from DUI OMS. Uh, what new products have you brought to DEMA, Jack? 
Well, uh, this year we brought one of our, our new dry suits. It's a standard dry suit. It's called the Cortez. That Cortez has a new high, uh, a durable tri-laminate material. It's, so, it's, so it's bringing more durability to one of our cost-effective dry suits. Yeah. Along with that, we're bringing three new colors for our OMS fins and masks. Um, so there's a red, yellow, and a blue fin that you can now order at DEMA. Very cool, and I checked those out earlier. I like, that seems to be a theme, that people are bringing out new colors and trying to bring color back into diving. It's not just about black. I like that you guys have gone against the kind of shiny, shiny tones. You've gone for more like a matte finish. I thought they look really, really cool, so. Yeah, that's awesome. And yeah. we're, we're trying to bring some of that color back into personalizing your dive gear also. Yeah. And that's why we got some of our premium suits um, where you can actually add oh, different colors to it. You can add piping, color thread. Um, just make it your own product and be an individual. So when you're out there diving and someone takes a photo, you can see who it is versus this big black shape in the water. Yeah, you absolutely. know it's you. I love the racing stripes on this one as well. That's like, you you know, come out the water, take your mask off, get on your motorbike, and you can go straight home with that kind of, you know. Yeah, uh, just a little information about this suit. Tell um, me. This is actually a suit that I dive. It's designed exactly like that. That one? Um, so that one, um, all the way down to the shoes and the mask. Um, and that's why it's different if you walked around and you notice that this one looks a little bit different than all the others. So that is Jack the Mannequin? That is Jack the Mannequin. Do all the DUI staff have their own mannequin here? Uh, no, they do not. So you're special. I'm, I get it. I, get I am it. I always like the it. most special person. I love that. I love that. <laughs> That'd be great. Jack, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Have a great show. Thank you. Next up, I've got Bob here from Edge Hog. You might know Bob from either the Edge Hog YouTube channels or the Diver Supply channel. Uh, tons of great content on both of those. I'll link them below so you can check out those channels, absolutely. There's gonna be a ton of links in the description in this video, so I'll try and make them as organized as possible. Uh, but Bob, what's new at DEMA for you guys for Edge Hog? Well, you know, James, I, number one, I appreciate you coming by and maybe doing this bit of a collab. Appreciate you guys out there. Oh, pleasure. Visiting with us uh, from Divers Ready, and hope you come over and visit our channel too. But here at DEMA, Edge Hog is, is really showing the hog pro bcd this is a hybrid bcd so it's really great for new divers as well as advanced divers yep. because of the ability of the bcd and the adaptability and it it gives the benefit of both a jacket style bcd and a back inflate bcd into one BCD, yeah, which is huge, yeah. which is huge. And of course, the price point uh, is pretty incredible on this unit too, James. Yeah. And guys, you have to understand that Edge Hog is all about value and quality. And of course, all that rolls into what you're spending in your your checking account or your credit card balance. Absolutely. So, so talk us through some of the features, some of the key features here. Well, seeing some nice elastic bungee here for a comfy fit. Yeah. Of course, the BCD, the way this is, is designed is this has a folded bladder mm -hmm. so that underwater, when you're neutrally buoyant and you're putting in a minimum amount of air, it's compressed. It's compressed yeah. and it feels like a back inflate. Very when cool. you get to the surface, you add the air to become positively buoyant and you're floating on the surface waiting on the boat to come then it's two-thirds. It feels like a jacket style on the surface. Yeah. It, it's wonderful. Good stability on the surface, doesn't pitch you. Excellent. Holds it's it's kind of like sitting in, in your favorite recliner, James. Perfect. Yeah, it's really good. All right. And of course, we have plenty of connection points here. You see I have a light connected here. Absolutely. Uh, very, very adjustable. It has a cummerbund, belly buckle, so on. One of the things that we did is we added a space right here so that you can add an additional pocket there. Maybe you're picking up. I know you oh, guys so are modular, big right? about, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you guys are big down there about cleaning the reef. If Absolutely. you find a little something, you can stick it in that pocket. But we don't have those big giant storage pockets yeah. that are empty most of the time anyway. Yeah, take up space. Really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 And of course, we have quick drop pockets, which is nice. And of course, right back here, something unusual on a 
really reasonably oh, priced. We have trim pockets, Perfect. Yeah, cool. which is wonderful. Of course, we have right shoulder dump that a lot of times people don't uh, pay a whole lot of attention to. Mm -hmm. And these are no flood. And of course, down here next to your Can Glutus you Maximus, yep. we've got the butt dump down here. Perfect. So that's why, and of course, it's super lightweight for travel too. Yeah, folds up nice, compact. Yeah, yeah, very, yeah, yeah, very, because you're not having a big slide in and out weight pocket that people end up losing and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So it really makes it nice. Absolutely. And of course, the D1X reg okay. is, you know, kind of our meat and potatoes uh, regulator yep. uh, turret. Uh, environmentally sealed, so Excellent. it keeps it nice and clean for divers up north and in the south. Yep. Salt water, dirty water. A lot of the public safety departments really like that. Yeah. And so this is really kind of complementing our, our professionals line. And of course the new Pro Fin is pretty, uh, pretty nice because it's one of those fins that works great for a beginner and it works great for a, an advanced diver in that it's got the flexible blade, fairly stiff rib, nice vent for that back kick. Mm -hmm. It relieves some of that. And of course, these are going to be coming with bungees. Yeah, I was about to say that. Yeah. yeah. Got yeah. The well, these are the kind of our show protos. Yeah. But the the ones that'll be out there for retail will have bungees. Interchangeable on. bungees. Yeah. You know, they're yeah. a wear and tear yeah. item yeah. on any fit. Yeah. So you gotta... And they'll come in basically three different colors available in, you know, extra small, small, regular, so on and so forth, large, extra large sizes. Perfect. And Very cool. And of course we have all kind of additional accessories, knives. Easy, no, easy. You know, easy. Gotta watch it. Get easy. Take and uh of course, stuff like lights and surface oh, markers and blah, 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 that sort of thing. People can come over and check out the, the website and uh, cool. see, see what all we've got yeah. to offer. Again, everyone link down below. Well, have a fantastic show, Bob. Thank you so much for your I time. I enjoy your channel. I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Thank really. You Congratulations, folks. Thanks for stopping by. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Things are winding down here on day four. There is a palpable drop in the energy levels of everyone. I'm losing my voice. Most of the people on the booths are losing their voice because we've just been talking scuba diving for four days. Um, but it's been a fantastic show. Orlando always puts on a great time here at the Orange County Convention Center. Um, so we really enjoy ourselves and I hope you enjoyed this sneak behind the curtain. If you're not able to come to the show yourself, um, I just want to be able to share with you what we're seeing here. So hope you enjoyed that. We're going to make a couple of other little snippet videos that will be out on the channel soon enough. Um, but until next time, thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already my name's james this was your divers ready video for this week from the dema show 2019 dive safe dive often guys bye